Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with another example and basically this is about the transformations. Time transformations and amplitude transformations. Or uh, their effect on the energy of a signal. Okay. Now uh, I've listed them down so I will write it and then we'll go to uh, this example. So time shifting. So the first is time shifting so it has no effect on the energy of a signal. Similarly, time reversal has no effect. Fine. Now the amplitude uh, reversal has no effect. Similarly, amplitude shifting has no effect. So only the scaling has effects. So if I see from my notes, so if x of t has the original signal is x of t and it has energy a so what happens if you time scale it that is x of a t so this signal would have energy equal to e upon a and similarly for amplitude scaling if the original signal x of t has energy e so the amplitude scale which is k times x of t would have energy equal to the modulus of k squared multiply e so this is it okay and now we have an example let's say x of t is given this is t this is x of t and 4 and 2 this is 2 this is 4 so this is just a simple waveform taken so that we could have an understanding, a better understanding. So the first that we discuss is let's say, let's say simpler is time reversal. So time reversal is the most simple. So if I have x of negative t, so which means that I would just flip it around the y axis. So this would be it. This is t, the 4 and the 2. So first let me calculate the energy of the original signal. The energy of the original signal you can simply uh, uh, integrate it from negative infinity to positive infinity x of t modulus whole square dt. Now if I draw the graph for x of t modulus, so what would it be? It's 4, so it would go to 4, 4 are 16. So how would it be? It would be like this. This is t this is mod of x of t whole square so this is 2 and this would be 16 so the energy of this original signal is equal to 16 multiplied 2 which would be what 32 32 yes let me check over here it is 32 yes so so 32 joules is the original energy you need to keep in mind I will write it over here so if I have to remove this also so that we don't have any problem. So the energy of the original signal is 32 units is your problem joules or calories or whatever it is. So this function now x of negative t. So again have a look if you take the modulus of x of negative t and then you take its square. So what will happen is that now it will be of this form. This is 2, this is 16, so energy is again 16 multiplied 2 which is 32. So have a look, time reversal has no effect and we have seen it. Time shifting, let's say we have x of t plus 2. Let's say we have x of t plus 2. So t plus 2 means what? You shift the signal towards the left by a t unit by a two units so if this was the original signal located at t is equal to zero now it would be located at t is equal to negative two so while well, this would be again this x of negative t if i do it like this right so this would be again like this so then we will have no uh, difference so again the energy is 32 you can see it from here but to create a difference I let's say I do it of x of t plus 2 so uh, t minus 2 sorry so minus 2 would shift it two units, 2 units towards the right so this would for, uh, start from 2 till 4 
and the amplitude is 4. So now what do you do? You take the modulus of x of t minus 2 and you square it. So 4, 4, 4 are 16. So this is t uh, and this is 2, this is 4. You would reach 16. Again, it's the length multiply width is 16. Multiply 2, it's again 32. You have no effect of time shifting. Time scaling. So let's say I have another function which is x of a is let's say 2, a is equal to 2. So I have a signal which is x of 2t. So x of 2t means what? Uh, that if originally t is equal to 1, so 2t is equal to 1, t is equal to 1 over 2, right? Uh, so I would write it over here. Originally you had a point t is equal to 1. Now that point would be located at 2t is equal to 1, which means that it would be located at t is equal to 1 over 2. So originally 1 would now be 1 over 2. Similarly, originally the point was 2, now you have 2t equal to 2. So this would imply that t is equal to 1. So originally the point was 2, now it is equal to 1. So which means that the signal has been compressed in the time domain. Compressed. In the time domain fine so uh, if I draw the graph for x of 2t so what would it be this is t so this would be 4 from 0 to 1 fine now to find the energy of this you do what you take the modulus of x of 2t and you square it up so what would be the case 4 4 are 16 again from 0 to 1 so now the energy have a look. So this would be 16 multiply 1 which is equal to 16 joules. So have a look. The value of A is equal to 2 in this case. Previously E was 32. So for the time compressed signal what is the case? It's 32 multiply 2 which is 16. And I told you it's E divided by A. 32 divided by 2. I, I think I said multiply. So we've seen the effect of time scaling on the signal also. Now for the amplitude transformations, let's say I remove the board. Okay, so let's say the first case that we see is the simplest is amplitude reversal. So amplitude reversal means what? You flip the, the signal about the x-axis. So if I flip it, this would be x negative times x of t, right? So negative times x of t so it would be like this you would have a negative 4 fine this is 2 now the energy of this how to calculate so you take negative x of t you take its modulus so the modulus would be what it would be a positive 4 and then you take its square so the positive 4 square would be what it would be 16 so 16 is the case this is 2, this is 16. So the energy is what? It's 16 multiplied 2 again, it's 32. This is a rectangular waveform. Amplitude reversal has no effect. Fine. Now, uh, the amplitude scaling. So uh, let's say I scale it with the value of k equal to 2. So which means that now I have 2 times x of t. So this would be like this. You have 2. So 2 times x of t means what? You multiply the entire y-axis by value of 2. So we have originally 4. Now we would have 8. So 8 multiply 8 and 2. So this is 2 times x of t. Now to calculate the area, to calculate the energy, you do what? You have 2 times x of t. This is the original signal. You take its modulus. It would be the same. This is the positive value. You take its square. So 8, 8, 8s are, 8, 8s are 64. 8, 8s are 64. Isn't it so? Let me check, okay. 8, 8s are 64. Yes, it is. So 64 and over here you have 2. So the energy of this particular signal would be 64 multiplied 2. So this means this is 128. So have a look from this property. 
what is the value of k the value of k is 2 so which means that the k squared is equal to 4 so if you multiply the original signal that the original energy 32 multiplied with this k 32 multiply 4 would be what 4 2s are 8 and then 4 3s are 12 so you get a 128 which is the same as this one so we have proved this property as well okay now the next is amplitude shifting so in amplitude shifting i have written a no over here but this is wrong okay because i got stuck in the video and then i had to pause it and verify it so well i could not find it in the book or on youtube so i will do it manually over here in front of you i proof it here okay so amplitude shifting let's say i consider an upward shift and and say that i consider a signal with and i do it colorfully because this is important now so let's say i have a signal x of t and then you have plus two so which means an upward shift by two units so this is if t this is x of t plus two so zero would come to two and four four would go to six now this would be the signal this is two fine now to find the energy you need to calculate x of t plus two's modulus which would be the same we don't have any negative value and then you calculate its square so this is t this is the x of t plus 2 whole square so 6 6 is our 36 and 2 twos are 4 so now the signal would be like this so now the energy would be what the energy would be its height is 36 minus 4 which is 32 and the width is what it's 2 so you have the energy equal to 64 this is for the value of k equal to 2 fine now let's say let's say i take the value of k equal to 3 so i shift it upwards by a 3 units so over here you could say that it is the same as this one well uh, not this it is equal to k times e but if you calculate it over here let's say i have x of t plus 3 which means 3 units shift upward so you have a 3 you have a 7 and this is your 2 so what do you do now uh, to calculate the energy again you have the modulus of x of t plus 3 whole squared so this would be t this is the graph so 7 7s are 49 and 3 3s are 9 so now this would be the graph so how to calculate the energy now 49 minus 9 7 7 is 49 35 and 42 and 49 yes so 49 minus 9 the energy is 40 uh, multiplied by 2 so this is 80 so have a look we cannot we, we cannot uh, say it directly like in this case we said that it would be uh, let's say the energy uh, of the shifted signal would be k times energy of e but have a look over here it is not equal to k times energy of e energy of the original signal isn't it so well did i do the mathematical operations right well i should have yes it would be right so uh, you know now it has the amplitude uh, shifting has an effect on the total energy of the signal uh, but you know we cannot predict it we cannot uh, say it through a proper formula it's different for each and every different case so while I would write over here that it has effect and how do you do it how to calculate it so you cannot calculate it by using direct formulas as in this case in this case you have to do it manually as I did in these two examples you can take any other example you can you can have a shift of four units if you have a shift of four units so it would uh, come to zero would come to four and uh, four would go to eight similarly then you square it so eight eights are 64 four fours are 16 right so then the energy would be 64 minus 16 is 48 or what uh, for 60 uh, 38 multiply 2 so you don't get the proper uh, formula for it so the amplitude shifting has an effect but we don't have any formula for this right now I will well this is what I have done by myself right now I did not 
uh, find it any book or anywhere else I will try to search for it if I have any proof or something I will let you know in the next video this is all for today this is all for energy signals in the next lecture very soon inshallah most probably with examples on power signals till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers goodbye